I'm just gonna have to go ahead and do it this way. So I've got a little bit of experience when it comes to the Haval empty version of Monster Trucks. Technically, this was their first iteration. Came both in electric and gas. Say gas, but I mean nitro. This was the four-wheel drive Monster Truck, the Habao Hyper MT Sport Plus. Then they went ahead and came out with this bad boy, which this bad boy right here is the Hyper MT Sport Plus 2. This thing on my channel was what I considered. It's what I considered my absolute like destructive rat rod. Did I ever break it? I did, but it was very hard pressed to really smash that thing. That thing hit trees full speed, jumps full speed. That thing took an amazing amount of abuse, which is why it's gonna remain probably the truck. It'll probably stay the truck on my banner on my YouTube channel. If you see it, what's right there, it says about. It's literally that right there. It's that right there sitting on big black. Now, there were some negatives associated with this truck. They were kind of neg they were kind of minor in in my opinion. Minor meaning they had some like axle breakage issues, but the overall performance of the truck I did like. It was a little bit too plush. So it seemed as though they were going for more of a faster, lower slung truck. If you look at the difference between this truck and obviously you can see that truck, I just don't have the room. But when you pan from this truck to this truck, this truck has a much larger height clearance from the ground. And I think that's where this truck is probably gonna take off. So while I believe, and I haven't looked at the numbers yet, and I am gonna look at the numbers, I am gonna nitpick this thing to an extent because going from that bad boy right here, coming from this, and then going to this, they basically took the shortness of the wheelbase of this truck, they took the strength and upgrades and structure of that truck, compacted it, and stuck it into this. Now, when I say stuck it into this, it's a new truck, but it's not all new, but it's all new. And to explain that, what they had to go through to design this truck, to be able to take the upgrades that were from this truck, some of the factory parts that were from this truck, the OEM, and then while keeping this short wheelbase kind of deal, coming up with this, it is the same exact body, except the whole locations for the body clips are slightly changed. Meaning, if you look in the hood, you can see we're brought back a touch, over here, we're brought forward a touch. Over here, we're brought back. Or actually, sorry, we're brought forward. And on this one, we're brought back. So they've shifted things. So does this body fit? Absolutely. Not perfectly, but I did take this body and fit it onto this truck. It's obviously that this body right here does fit better. But there are some foolish little things that I've been looking at. They're very minor, but kind of makes you scratch your head sometimes on certain stupid things. Yeah, but I'll get into that later. But what I will say is from what I'm seeing just from what I'm seeing this truck is gonna be a pretty nasty truck now the only one thing I'm not too keen on is the use of these wheels so this truck had these wheels on it and from memory either another truck like maybe an Arma or something else ended up blowing out the hex now was it a bad crash yeah it was a pretty bad crash but I think I was kind of shocked at how I felt how easily the wheel cracked or broke out this wheel right here the actual plastic could be a different plastic because when I look at these this one has more of like a lighter gray and this one has more of a darker gray and I'm not thinking that it's because it's dirty and this is brand new and clean there is a possibility that maybe the composition of the plastic has changed but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that's what happened now this truck right here I had gone through a couple of upgrades so one of the upgrades that you can get for this truck and that I do recommend are these wheel nuts and I have these hand tight well maybe not yeah, I guess not. I'll get one. All right. What is cool about these locking nuts? These are an optional nut. It's like OP0090 and then a 0091 and a 92. And all it is is three different colors. So you have this smoke one right here, which is like a gunmetal smoke, which definitely matches the truck. They have an orange, what I absolutely love. And I think they have like, it's either a black or a silver or something like that. What's cool about these though, is that they have these bolts that bolt through and connect onto the hub. So if you ch see what's going on here, Oh, damn it. Well, they have a bolt. The bolt actually bolts into that hole right there and just provides additional locking along with the spline that's on the back of these. The other positive is that how much surface area 
This provides just a, a larger surface area for better grip and strength. So like I said, there's going to be some nitpick stuff going on. And also um, there was made mention that the front lights, well, you can see the front lights on that. I did modify to go ahead and put lights in it. It does not work well at all. The reflectors themselves look absolutely mint. And I wish Habao went ahead and made these so these could accept LEDs. So instead I did that and yeah, it's not the best thing. Because what happens is you end up drilling out the back side of it and it just, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work like you think it's going to. You're going to take like a drill bit and you're thinking to yourself, ah, I'll just drill out the back side of it and jam in an LED. It doesn't work. It just does not shine through. I think even on my banner, I think on my banner, it literally shows it. So now if you're considering this truck, there's definitely always going to be value in what's called the RTR. And some people are going to opt to go ahead. Now, if you've got the electronics and you're set to go and you've got the motor, but you got to think of like the value. So let's put it this way. If you buy this truck, I mean, if you don't have the money, you don't have the money. But if you buy this truck and you have electronics for it, rip the electronics and radio out and sell it as a complete unit and make your money back. You can actually probably make, and I'm assuming you could actually make more back. Now, what I do want to say is that these Habao radios, these Habao radios are, I like them, man. I, I've, I'm very keen to how they operate. Uh, I think they're like a three or a four channel. I, I don't know. I don't remember. I got too many of them, but I haven't touched one in, in quite a while. It's, it's been a little bit. So last time I touched it when, when I was running this bad boy right here, the Hyper VS2. The Hyper VS2, I got to tell you, man. So, like, it's I can't even say it's underrated, man. The thing is just absolutely mint. But we're not talking about the Hyper VS2. We are talking about the company Habao. And you can see the banner right there. This company actually has kind of like that special spot in my heart. Uh, it does, actually. It does because of that truck right there. That was my second purchase after I had kind of not quit the hobby, but I hadn't been in the hobby for a number of years. I bought a Red Cat Gen 7 and then realized that that just wasn't me. And then this truck hit the market and I went oh my god and when I saw that thing I was like this is something different this is not a Traxxas it's not a Kyosho it's not a Tamiya Tamiya whatever you want to call it it's not a team associated and it, and I think at the time I didn't even know what the heck Arma was <laughs> that's how long I've been in the hobby man I have not been in the hobby that long anyways what I want so like I said it's it's very similar to wheelbase I think the wheelbase of this is just slightly longer than the wheelbase of that the track width appears to be a a wider track width with this truck again this is all just by appearance haven't done any measuring i've been more gawking at this truck taking it you know not apart but taking things off really kind of looking into it the first thing that i noticed right off was the chassis the chassis is totally different from this truck and this truck the chassis is just different similar in configuration and that was to obviously stay with the design of the trucks but the way they built this chassis or should I say the way they made this chassis is different than how they did it before. How they did it before was a stamping process with some CNC stuff. This one is a complete CNC chassis. And I thought that was slick. Literally when I took it out of the box because the way it comes in the box, I haven't done an unboxing. I just literally, I was too excited just to see what, what was inside the box. But when I pulled it out, obviously it didn't have its wheels and tires on. So when I pulled it out, my hand was obviously on the chassis and I could... I could just feel it was different. And that's an oddity. To know that your hand connecting to something, you can actually feel a difference. And when I flipped it over, it's one of those times when I said to myself, I should have had a camera going. Because literally what came out of my, my mouth was, oh my God. So that's got to tell you something right there. And with the amount of abuse that this truck took, and this is the longer wheelbase form, and this is the shorter wheelbase form with upgrades, you tell me, man. You tell me. Yes, it's got a hose clamp for a heat sink. I like, I like it, man, because that thing was always my rat rod, man. I love that truck. That's my Dodge. That's my Ram runner. Oh, man, I got to take all those stickers off of there. That pisses me off. I'm de-stickifying. I'm de-stickifying that thing. Yeah, I got to get, uh, got to get the diesel power gear crap off of that thing. Those guys really, uh, ended up kind of disappointing me. So anyways, um, yeah, this was just a short blip. 
into the fact that the Habao Hyper MTX is here along with that one and that one. So I do feel like I can kind of speak to having some experience. Uh, I do feel as though I can speak to having a little bit of experience with these trucks. So in all three platforms, all three trucks. So yeah. So anyways, what are you doing? <laughs>